Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing our birch box for what month are we in? May, May 2021. This is a $12 a month subscription. In here, we should have between five and seven beauty, skincare, hair care, makeup samples. If you're new to my channel, I am a cruelty-free YouTuber, so if at any time while I'm filming, if I don't know something's cruelty-free, I will do the research and have it displayed right here on the screen for you, as well as the estimated sample size value. So we'll do all that, add it all up at the end, and see if we're getting a good deal or not. I do have a dog in here with me today. There she is. There's Harley. Can you say hi? Good girl. She's probably going to get under these blankets or make a disaster. She really hates beds when they're made. Um, so you may see her rustling around back there. She's right here now with me because I'm talking about her, but uh, she may end up back there eventually. Okay, you ready? She does this thing where she like has to be in the nook of your arm. Like watch, I'm gonna move my arm right here. And there she is back again. Okay, without further ado, let's just go ahead and open this box. All right, so when you open the box up, there's another box inside. I wanted to mention last month because I was really excited that it came in a stasher bag. April was like Earth Month and Earth Day and all that stuff, so that's why it was like that. I was really excited, but it's not a permanent thing. It was just a Earth Day thing. Anyway, so it normally comes in this little box right here. These are recyclable and I do save some of them to reuse if they're super cute. Alright, so once you open the box, it's going to have this little card right here that has like sort of the theme, but normally just like a quote or a weird tip. Um, but it says, hello, sh sunshine spring sure looks good on you. So there's that. On the back, it will have everything we're getting as well as the uh, full size value. So I will also mention the full size. All right, so I'm gonna pull the first thing I'm seeing right on top that I know is not cruelty free. This is from Benefit. This is the Pore Professional Pore Filling Primer. I know this used to be a like cult classic, but I don't think anybody really talks about this anymore. I've never tried it, so I can't speak to whether it's any good or not, but I know back in the day it used to be like the jam. But I prefer like a dewy primer, not anything pore filling generally. Why'd you stop, ma'am? That's literally what she does every day when I make my bed. She gets in the top part and it's just, I don't know. If I don't make the bed, she doesn't care. But if I make the bed, she's in there. All right, and the full size of the Benefit uh, Professional Pore Primer is $32. I think that's probably a little bit overpriced for what it is, but I've never tried it, so maybe it's worth it. Let me know if you've tried this primer, if you think you would pay $32 for a full size one. All right, moving right along. The next thing I'm pulling out is from Balance Me. I've never tried this brand, never heard anything about them. It does say it is vegan, but it and also says we never test on animals, so that's great. Uh, this is a BHA exfoliating concentrate. Packaging is really nice and simple. So this is just like your typical chemical exfoliant. I like chemical exfoliants. I like the gritty exfoliants too. I try to use them like maybe once a week. I try not to use them too, too often. You don't want to overuse them, basically. Um, but anyways, this says it removes dead skin cells, reduces blemishes, and improves hydration to reveal brighter skin. Apply to face and let dry before... Oh. What? I don't know. Apply a beauty pad. Gently wipe over a cleansed dry skin, avoiding the delicate eye area. No rinsing required. Interesting. I don't think I've ever tried a chemical exfoliant that does not get washed off. So maybe I'll give that a try. That's sort of interesting. I don't know. That seems very weird to me. Let me know how you feel about that. Anyways, the full size is $37.50. Eh, I don't know. Well, a little expensive. Okay, moving right along, the next thing I'm pulling out is from Oribe, which is cruelty-free. This is the Grandiose Hair Plumping Mousse. There's the packaging. I think I've only ever tried a dry shampoo from this brand, so I don't typically use mousse. It's just not something I use. I don't know. 
So I don't know if I'm going to use this. I'll probably just pass it along to somebody else. I don't want to waste it. I just don't, it's not a step in any part of my hair care, hair styling routine. Full size is $39, which is way overpriced uh, for a mousse. I don't think so. All right, the next thing I'm pulling out is from Amika, which is cruelty free. This is the Cure Multitask Repair Treatment for your hair, I assume. I believe this is only hair care. Okay, so it says this fast acting rinse out treatment doubles as a leave in to strengthen your strands and repair damage in 60 seconds. Apply to damp hair, leave on for two to three minutes, then rinse. So yeah, I try to do a hair mask maybe every other week because I normally wash my hair about once or twice a week, depending on how many times I wash my hair that week. Um, I will use a mask basically every other wash just because I have really, really dry hair. I have treated hair, it's damaged and all that stuff. So I, I try to use a mask pretty frequently to be honest so definitely will give that a try the full size is $28 again I think you can find um, other quality hair masks for a more affordable price I think the one I'm using right now is from raw sugar which I really like that brand a lot so uh, I'll give it a try though okay and we have one last item and this is from Aurora cosmetics and I think this is a cruelty free brand if I'm remembering correctly yeah it's not saying but I feel like I had a very similar thing to this and it was cruelty free so this is a intensely precise eyeliner and mine looks to be in brown I'll go ahead and give it a swatch for you oh nope I don't know maybe it is black oh it says espresso yeah that's I'm gonna show you I mean that looks black I can't even see a hint of brown in there let me know if you can see should I put it more in the light I don't know. Let me know. Um, either way, it's dark enough for me to use. I don't like a real light brown sort of eyeliner. It just doesn't work for me. Um, but honestly, this looks black. Is espresso black? I thought espresso was brown. Am I stupid? I mean, that's possible too. Anyways, this looks to be full size. Let me see if the card tells me. It's not saying it's full size. Um, but full size is $11.99 and this, this looks to be a full size eyeliner. So I don't think that's a bad price at all for a, whoa, sorry, this is like looking green now in other lighting. Can you see that? Doesn't it look green? Do you see that? That is weird. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to try this out, but honestly, on my hand right now, when I'm looking at it, like when there's no glare, it looks black, but when I have like a little bit of a glare to it, it looks green. That's interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, so that's everything we got in this month's box. Overall, like not really the greatest box. I definitely am going to use the eyeliner if it looks better on my eyes than it is on my hand. Uh, the hair mask, and I will give the chemical exfoliant a try. Uh, not going to use the mousse just because I don't really use mousse and I, it's just something I'm not going to use. So I'm going to pass that on. And this bore, uh, bore, <laughs> this uh, professional primer also going to pass on. This is like a beauty box staple. I think I've gotten this 8,000 times in beauty boxes and literally I've never tried it obviously, but got that. So yeah, not overall like meh. It's not like the worst box. It's not the best box. But let me know what you guys thought of this box right down there in the comments. I'd love to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. If you want to see more videos like this for me, more unboxings, more dogs. She's she's left now. She is actually laying on the floor. I think it's too hot in here for her with lights on. But anyways, if you want to see more dogs, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.